Every day when I scroll through TikTok, I see people utilizing this one skill to basically transform their business or their personal circumstances, and it's creating content. Now, for example, I follow a bakery on TikTok who produce content all the time, and it's super good and interesting, and they have treats that they making them and behind the scenes and all sorts of content that people absolutely love to see. Now, here's why this is so powerful. But, I, but first of all, this does work for individuals, not just businesses, it works for both. And I'll explain a little bit more about that later. But let's take the bakery example. If you have a bakery, a physical store, then you get customers, most bakeries get customers by the people that walk past the shop and word of mouth and they do some advertising in the local area and great, they've got a small bakery business. But here's where the power of content comes in. If that bakery decided to make TikTok videos about the things that they sell or YouTube videos or, you know, there's a multitude of platforms to choose from, they are now putting their content out there to a much wider audience, not just the area that they live in. That allows them to then monetize through not only just views on the platforms such as AdSense revenue from YouTube, but also they can start selling their products through post and through basically, yeah, selling them online. For example, this bakery that I follow, they post their cakes, slices of cakes, same day delivery, I think, and they make considerably more revenue because their audience, you know, is now just huge. They can post their cakes probably anywhere in the UK. So their small bakery store that just served that town now serves the whole of the UK through the power of creating content and expanding your audience. But as I said, this works for individuals as well. If you're interested in finance and you want to get a finance job, if you just make content about finance by talking to the camera or making funny videos or whatever that's relevant to your niche, the chances are that someone from a company related to finance will at some point come across one of those videos. And if they see that you're doing really well, not only are they going to think, you know, that's great, and they're, gonna, they're basically seeing the candidate before the candidates even walk through the door. It's giving you a chance to put yourself in front of those audiences, in front of those finance companies. But also, every business wants more clients. Every business wants more revenue and more customers. If they know that you know how to create content, that is the best skill that you can possibly bring to a business. Any business right now wants more customers, I can assure you. So if you bring that strategy or that just skill that you have of making content that people watch, then you're going to have a much higher chance of being hired. And I promise you when I say that that works in any industry whatsoever. So obviously the skill is basically, as I, as I explained, it's increasing the amount of people that are viewing you as a person or as a business. And I'm planning to use this in my businesses, despite them being in a very hard sector create, to create content. Um, I am planning to use this across multiple channels to increase the revenue for my business as well. Now, knowing how to get views is obviously the hard part. If you can make plenty of content, but if you don't know how to actually make it good, then you're not going to do very well. But that is just a case, like anything else, whether it's sport or learning, you know, any other skill, it's just a case of learning, improving and practicing. And the chances are, if you make a thousand videos on TikTok or a hundred videos on YouTube, you're going to improve somewhat. You know, when I started making videos on YouTube myself, my videos were pretty horrendous. And even my most recent ones are pretty bad also. But I do believe I'm sort of on the trajectory of improving the videos one at a time. And at the end of the day, if you should be improving by each video that you're doing and each piece of content you're putting out, because you're also getting more insights to the people who are watching them and you know comments and things like that will help you to improve. So how do you get started? Well, the first thing is going to be to choose a platform. I don't think you should just start posting across eight different platforms, even though that's some advice that you will get. I think you need to choose a platform that is best for you and has the least friction to start. So for me, it's YouTube. I can just set this up. Uh, I have a setup in my room that it just works for me. And I like talking to the camera in this style of just sort of, you know, like I was speaking to a friend or family member over a coffee or something. It just works for me. I don't like TikTok as much like as a platform, but I am trying to learn that as well and improve on that one. So choose a platform that works for you. Obviously, TikTok is going to be more shorts and sort of clips and things like that. 
You can also do that with YouTube Shorts, but YouTube is going to steer more towards the longer form content. So see what fits what you enjoy and also what you're sort of trying to achieve and how your content needs to be, whether it needs to be shorter or longer for that purpose also. The next thing is going to be just learning, improving and testing. You know, you have to be putting out content on a regular basis. And, you know, that doesn't mean that if you put out some content and you need like a three week break to just focus on investing the resources and investing other bits, then that's fine. You know, the quality of the production is absolutely crucial. And that's something that I think I've learned more recently. I now am more than happy to spend a month on a video if it means that it's going to be of a higher production quality. Because if I spend a month or two months on one video and it gets 100,000 views, that's going to do better than 20 videos that get a thousand views because I did them rushed. I didn't think about them. I didn't spend time doing the thumbnails and all the other key factors and metrics that make up a good video. So learn, improve, make sure it's high quality, test it out and take responsibility for the outcome. If you're not getting results, it's because your videos are bad. So don't try and look for some other excuse as to why it's not working. Like, well, I don't know, you could think of a multitude of excuses. If you're not getting views, if you're not getting engagement, your videos are not good enough. Whether that's the thumbnail or if it's TikTok, whether that's the, the hook at the start of the video, you have to learn how to produce good content. And that is the number one monetized skill to learn to become a millionaire if you want to become a millionaire or just to improve your financial situation or to get a job or to start a successful business. And then consistency and patience. Keep staying consistent, you know, this is something that like any skill you know you're prepared to go to university for multiple years or or secondary or college or whatever then you need to be prepared to invest yourself into this skill and learn it and you will reap the rewards if you learn it because this skill versus any other in my opinion is the best one you can possibly learn because you can portray yourself in all of the ways i just described but also make sure to enjoy it you know don't make content that you don't enjoy you have to make content that you want to make because I just think it's important to be happy in life and do things that you want to do. You know, you have to find the content that works for you. That might be writing blog posts. It might not be getting in front of the camera. It might be writing, you know, but it just producing content will give you eyes and people looking at the things that you're creating. And that is the trick and the best skill, I believe, um, in 2024 and probably beyond um, to improve. So, yeah, learn that skill and, yeah, get started.